For um, number 67, we have here uh, that a fish farmer has 5,000 catfish in his pond. Um, the number of catfish increases by 8% per month, and the farmer harvests um, 300 catfish per month. So for item A, they want us to show that the uh, population after n months is given by this formula recursively. And now a recursive formula just tells you how to go from uh, one value to the next or one index to the next. So we have to show uh, where this formula comes from. Okay, so he begins with 5,000 catfish in his pond. So already we can see that at the beginning, right, where no months have passed, so P0 is going to be 5,000. That's the initial value. So already we have, uh, we have shown why this is the case, because that's what he begins with, right? Um, and then let's think about what happens to P1. So, which means what is the population after one month? Well, we have here that it increases by 8% every month, right? So if it increases by 8%, we're going to get 5,000 plus 5,000 uh, times 8%, so times uh, 0 0.08, right? Um, and then we, he harvests 300, so that means that he removes from his population 300. So... Um, if you look at this, this is actually going to be, if we simplify it, um, that's going to be 5,000. I'm going to factor out the 5,000. Um, so that goes 1 plus uh, 0 0.08 minus 300, right? Or 5,000, uh, 1, 1 1.08 minus 300. And let's see what this is going to be equal to. Let me put it in my calculator. So 5,000 times 1.08 minus 300, uh, so that's going to be 5,100, okay. So for P2, we're going to, um, we're going to have now, we begin with 5,100, right, because that's the beginning of the month, and then it grows by 8%. So as we could see here with P1, growing by 8%, it means multiplying by 1.08. So it's going to be 5,100 times 1.08. Um, and then he's going to harvest 300, so minus 300. And that is going to give us, let's see, uh, 5,100 times 1.08 minus 300. That is going to be um, 5,208. That is how many um, catfish he has. So once we're here, let's think about P... P3. Well, P3, now the new population is going to be 5,208. And once more, um, we are going to multiply it by 1.08, because that means that it's growing um, by 100%, right, itself, plus 8%, and then minus 300. Um, this is going to give us, let's see, 5208 times 1.08 minus 300. Um, that is going to give us 5. 5,324. Uh, now it is um, actually, this one is 24.6, so we're just going to, uh, going to round up because we can't have a portion of a catfish. Okay, so we can clearly see here, what is the pattern? Um, if we look at the pattern, so P1 is going to be 5,000, and that 5,000 comes from the previous one, times 1.08 minus 300. And then um, P2 is going to be 5,100, and this 5,100, it comes from the previous amount, right? Times 1.08 minus 300. And then P3 is going to be 5,208, which comes from the previous 5,208, all this times 1.08 minus 300. So we can see here that, um, expanding it, that Pn at a month, well, we're going to begin with the population of the previous month, right? So we begin with the population of n minus 1, and we multiply that by 1.08, because we want to take the population of the previous month, um, grow it by 8%, and we remove 300 catfish from it. And so we have um, we have shown that this is where it comes from. And then for B, it wants how many catfish are in the pond after six months, right? So since we don't have the general formula that tells us 
um, just put N and it'll give you after six months. It only tells us recursively. So that means that we need to keep building it up, right? So P4 is going to be um, 5,325 times 1.08 minus 300. Um, and that one is going to be, let's see, um, 5451. Uh, P5 is going to be 5451 times 1.08 minus 300. And um, this is going to be, let's see what, what that is going to be. That's going to be 5587. And lastly, P6, we are going to have here um, the previous one. So 5587 times 1.08 minus 300. And that one is um, going to give us five, seven, three, four. So we can say here, so that was item A and item B, we say that uh, P6 is going to be 5,734. And that is it for number 67.